Good evening. Two videos in one night. Well, I said I was going to do a post review. Um, this is a diamond painting that I bought from the one with the diamond art. Uh, artist is Venera. I believe that's how that's pronounced. And um, it's a fox. And it's taken me... I started this the 1st of February and I finished it on Sunday. So it's taken me a good two, two and a bit months to do. Um, as I've said previously, not the fastest in the world, but I enjoy what I do. So um, I was very, very pleased with this. I've enjoyed working on it every step of the way. Um, <coughs> And there it goes. So. And there she is. She has been an absolute joy. This is in a round. Um, I got her in a 50 by 65 and I chose the um, pearlescent, um, pearlescent shimmer beads to go with this one um, or something I've never worked with before um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see them but the white all here they look, they look like they've got, actually got little bits of glitter in them. They are just sparkling. Um, and the best thing about these compared to using a bees is the fact that um, I've had no problem with using my pen with these. Um, because I'm sure some of you guys know that when you put, when you use wax in a pen with a bees, it can pull the wax out. Um, and I've had no such problems. The colours on this were so vibrant, so vibrant. I mean, the main, the main areas of the fox here, and again over this sort of way here, they were very confetti heavy, um, which meant I don't mind confetti. I don't mind colour blocking. Um, it just meant that because it was confetti, it was going to take a lot longer for me to actually um, for me to actually complete one of the sections <clears throat> so um, but I really enjoyed this it was it was really really nice didn't have a huge amount of um, beads that were trashy drills um, for the most part <laughs> that's all I really have trashy drills wise so can't really complain um, so much in the way of colours left over so again they this applied you really well <laughs> I've still got <laughs> some of a baggie of that uh, let's see that's the blue one <laughs> So <laughs> I've still got some 310 and 939 left over in bags because I can fit them in the box. Um, 310 again. But and then these are the special beads. Again, plenty of them left over. And oh, sparkly, sparkly. So I loved all these. Um, would definitely do one with those again. Um, actually, I, if I had my choice, I'd, I'd swap out all ABs with something along those lines. Watch this space. <coughs> but yes, I um, I thoroughly enjoyed this, and um, this is the first one I've actually completed from the one with the diamond arts very pleased with their communication um, and all in all just just love doing it 
Um, and that's the main thing when you're doing a diamond painting is that you actually enjoy the process and not just the end result of doing it. Um, so, yeah, extremely happy. I have no idea where she's going to go. But um, I just wanted to give a review to these guys. I know I've actually given um, the details of this to some other people who were doing the event for the um, familiars in February. Um, and I believe one of the ladies actually ordered her. Um, so, must have been doing something right. <clears throat> but yeah, she is, she is so lovely. But um, I'm going to leave this here for now and I shall catch you guys very, very soon. Okay then, take care.